Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about set properties, shape, types of properties and how to configure set property shape on Boomi. So in most of the interviews, you will get this question. What is set property shape and types of set property shape and differences between types of properties. So let's begin the video. So you have to be clear about this shape set property shape this is very common asking question in most of the interviews okay so before going to know what is set property shape we should know first what is property okay so properties consists of name or value pairs or variables used to store specific information to assist with the integration so what is this name value pair or variables if you want to store any value first you have to configure that name and in that name you need to store that specific value suppose if you are going to store employee id value you need to specify set properties so how we are going to uh, setting the property based on which property type you are going to set whether it is a dynamic document property or document property process property or dynamic process property so based on your requirement you have to choose property type on which property you are going to store so that store employee id is the name in that name you are going to store store document value so from source system whatever value you are getting for that particular employee id field that value will be stored on name so this is the pair of name and values okay so now we'll see what is set property shape set property shape is used to set values for various document and process properties on outbound connector attributes such as file name or email subject or to store values in memory to facilitate the integration okay so most probably we'll use set property shape to store the document values okay so property values can be a static or dynamic values so in boomi properties are classified into two types document level properties and process level properties so if you are going to set any document related properties those properties will come under document level properties if you are going to set any properties based on the process it will comes under process level properties okay so again document level properties are classified into two types document property and dynamic document property similarly process level properties are classified into two types process property and dynamic process property so we'll see one by one what is document property what is dynamic document property what is process property and what is dynamic process property okay so first what is document property document properties are predefined properties and it is used to set connector type properties like file name destination folder file filter mail subject etc so these document properties are predefined properties if you want to set file name you just need to choose that predefined property predefined document property and then you have to choose type as file name and you have to set that file name value however you want based on your requirement okay so this is the document property and what is dynamic document property dynamic document properties are arbitrary values that you can use to store values temporarily related to a document it will be set for the document level okay so if you want to store any document values temporarily at that time you can use dynamic document property and what is process property process properties are grouped such that process properties can be any number of named values and referenced as per process property process properties are defined separately to the process and then used by any process in the atom sphere okay we can use this process properties to set process related information or to store process related values okay so these process properties values are grouped i mean you can configure multiple process properties in a single component and you can use that single component 
wherever you want in atom sphere so what is dynamic process property dynamic process property is associated with a process there is only one instance and one value for a process property within the scope of a process execution okay so it is a global variable for a process it will be set for the process so dynamic process property will be set for the process and it will be global variable within a process execution so once you set that dynamic process property you can use the dynamic process property wherever you want within the scope of the process execution okay so these are the different types of set property shapes so hope you understand this video now in next video i'll going to explain how to configure these set property shapes on booming yeah that's it about today's video if you have any doubts regarding today's video please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye